This time on the Mr. Bobot Show, we'll be restoring a 1985 G1 Transformers kickback toy. He'll need a new antenna which we'll make out of resin, then we'll apply new chrome to his wings. We'll help this little robot grasshopper jump back into action again, so stay tuned. Kickback, your leader is escaping. In that case, I better hop to it. Allow me. This little robot's got some major chrome damage on his wings. He changes into a grasshopper, correct? Yep, from robot to insect and back. He's called an insect con. Correct, and he's missing one of his yellow antennas from his head. We can make a new one from resin. That's the plan. We'll also clean up and polish his tarnished screws and metal pins. And fix his original stickers. Yep, there's a couple of them that we'll need to re-glue. Next, we'll disassemble the toy. Next, we'll duplicate the yellow insect antenna using resin, but first we'll make the silicone rubber mold for it. This will be done in two steps. Yep, first the base layer, then the top. While we wait for the base layer of the rubber mold to cure, we'll remove the damaged chrome from the insect wings. Next, we'll gather all the tarnished screws and let them soak in vinegar for a few hours. The vinegar will help remove the corrosion. Yep, then we'll polish them to restore the shine. Nice. For the metal joint pins, I'll use a rotary tool to remove the corrosion before polishing. You can really see the difference the polish and rotary tool make on the metal pins, looks brand new. We will now polish the screws. Now we'll reattach some of the original stickers. They are coming undone from age and playwear. Yep, so we'll take apart the legs and feet and reattach the loose stickers using a glue stick.
We'll remove the old sticker residue using rubbing alcohol before applying the glue. Now that the damaged chrome was removed from the wings, we'll apply new chrome using Molotow paint pens. No airbrush this time. Nah, the pens will work just fine. I'll save the airbrush for painting the resin parts later. Sounds good.
Now that the first layer of the rubber mold has set, we'll make the second and final layer. This will cover the original robot antenna so we can make a resin duplicate. We don't need to completely cover the entire head, just the yellow insect antenna. Next, we'll unmold the robot head and cast the resin for the new antenna. Now we'll mix the two-part polyurethane resin together and add a bit of talc powder to strengthen it. The talc makes the resin more resilient. Yep, if a large amount of pressure is exerted on it, it will slowly bend before it breaks. It's less fragile. Exactly. Next, we'll cut off the resin antenna, so we can attach it to the original earpiece. To attach it, we'll drill a small hole into the earpiece and resin antenna, so we can insert a metal pin for support, before we glue it together. Looks like that's going to fit pretty good, so now we'll make a few minor adjustments to the resin antenna before attaching it to the ear. I need to add a small amount of UV resin to the tip of the antenna. This will allow me to shape the top of it so it looks closer to the original. Why are you doing this? Sometimes when you create a resin cast, an air bubble can get in the way. Unfortunately, this results in a missing piece of resin, and in this instance, it's the very top of the antenna. The UV resin will fill in the gap. Yep, I find this to be a lot easier than recasting it. Understood. Now we'll glue everything together. I added tape to the head to protect it from the glue just in case.
Next, we'll fill in some of the gaps on the antenna with UV resin, and do some light sanding to prepare it for painting. Now we'll try and color match the resin antenna to the original. The color is mainly yellow but with a very light touch of red. This mixture looks pretty good, so now we'll add the color mix to the airbrush with a bit of thinner, and apply it to the resin antenna. Why not use the brush? You absolutely can if you really want to. I just personally prefer using the airbrush, the paint goes on a lot smoother. Got it. Next, we'll apply a clear top coat to the chrome wings. This will protect the new chrome. Yep, it will keep it from smearing and smudging as it's handled. And it won't remove the mirror reflection. Yep, it won't dull it, it'll stay very reflective. Nice. I'll also apply the lacquer to the yellow resin antenna off camera. I think the resin antenna turned out pretty good. I added a bit of top coat lacquer to everything so it looked uniform. Not too shabby. Thanks, now we'll put the toy back together and check out the final results. Now let's check out the toy before the restoration. If you remember, the original chrome was damaged on the wings, and one of its antennas was broken off. A few stickers were peeling, and most of the metal screws and pins were tarnished. Now, let's take a look at the final results. The new chrome on the wings look nice and reflective. And the new resin antenna looks very close to the original one. The stickers on the feet were fixed using a glue stick. 
and all the metal pins and screws have been cleaned and polished. You can see a clear reflection in the chrome wings. Yep, that clear top coat does a great job protecting the chrome paint without losing reflectiveness. I agree. If you enjoyed watching this video restoration, please check out our other videos and remember to subscribe. Please leave a comment below and give us a thumbs up, we'd really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, see y'all next time. Later, Tater.